What's up, everyone? This is all destroyer 229, and welcome back to Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last time, we entered Goo Lagoon and started to make our way through the area. Patrick, what are you doing? We managed to get a few golden spatulas, though we still have no idea how to reach the island where the robot is holding all of the sunbather sunscreen. In this episode, we are hopefully going to get one step closer to that goal by heading into the Goo Lagoon Sea Caves. So let's go. Okay. So Gary's there. Why don't we switch on over to SpongeBob, activate the box, and then talk to Gary. See if he has anything to say. Hello, Gary. What's new? Hi. You don't say. Squidward bought a new sweater. Oh, he's so crazy. Wow. And there's a golden spatula at the end of this cave. Wow. Oh my gosh, a sweater. Wait, what is. Is that Patrick? I don't know. But whatever, we have ourselves... Well, two routes. The high route and the low route. Oh, oh. Uh, well, we can't take the low route. So I guess we won't get to Scotland before ye. Can we actually... Did I make that jump? No. Uh, plan B. Can I ground pound this? No, then how the... Oh, it's on a timer. I think. You jerk! Is it on a timer? It's on a timer. It's gotta be on a timer. Alright, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and hit that switch. What does that do? They're okay. Causes the stalactites to, well, go down. Uh, anything I can... Well, there's a sock up there, if I can reach it. Activate that and get the hell out of here. There we, well, sort of go. Alright. Unfortunately, with the tides... Well, it's not really the tides changing, but just the movement of the ocean. I guess it's somewhat the tides. Some areas are going to be, well, dangerous. All right, let's go ahead and hit both of those. And, well, we can't go that way, so let's go this way. This is certainly a way we can potentially go, and there are some more dangerous pufferfish. Same kind of pufferfish. All right, can I get on that? Yes, I can. All right, let's go ahead and just jump from Tiki the Tiki, make sure we don't fall off. And voila, we made it. All right, let's get this domino effect going. Three, two, one. Yeah! Ha ha ha. Breaking back those shiny objects in record time. Uh, oh, um, I'm not sure why we need that fruit, but whatever. I guess that's one way of... Actually, yeah, that is one way of dealing with this guy. Oh. Ow. There we go. He gives a lot of shiny things. So it's actually kind of worth killing. Alright, but whatever. We managed to get that sock, so that's good. Can I reach that? No, I can't. Wow! Well, thankfully the checkpoint's right here, so I don't lose any time whatsoever. All right, so let's avoid the pufferfish, and let's get over here and see what this switch does. SpongeBob. Okay, so that allows us to progress ever onward and reach us another checkpoint. All right, jump over here, make that barely. All right, am I missing anything? Am I like going? I don't think I'm missing anything. I don't want to miss any socks that are very easily, well, obtainable. 
Alright, so just get those guys. Activate the slag type button again. And there we go, all the way back. And was that where the golden spatula was? Or was that where a sock was? It might have just been a shiny object for all I know. Um, there we go. It was like, Ocean, if you'd be so kind as to cooperate with me, that'd be really nice. All right, let's hit the ham guy. And hit the cloud guy. I know his name is Monsoon, but I'm still probably gonna call him cloud guy. Oh, hey, a sock. Um, I'm going to need to freeze this somehow. And there's the spatula. Although, I don't recall si Oh wait, there's one there, right there at the end. In which case, now that we have a straight shot... Damn it. Let's go ahead and grab Patrick, and then we can grab that sock while we're at it. Uh-oh. Oh, I didn't even notice that sock there. Um, Tide? Tide, if you be so kind. There we go. That worked somehow. That worked a whole lot better than I expected it to. Alright, let's get Patrick over here. Come on. There we go. Alright, so I will meet you guys back over at that central area. I'm going to be really upset if there was just... I was gonna say I'd be upset if there was a way to change characters, but that doesn't make me feel much better because I can see the stupid box. I actually had to do that the hard way. Which admittedly wasn't really that hard, but still, there was a much easier way of accomplishing this task. And I was just activating that. Alright, whatever. Go ahead, grab this. And then chuck it. 18 seconds, that's plenty of time to go grab that sock. All right, quickly get over here, grab the sock, and if I could also make it back? Close enough. All right, so we made it back here, awesome. And that's another sock in our possession. I think we're good to go. Let's head on over to the Goo Lagoon Pier. That was a quick area. And there's another box, and a robot! The heck, where did all those other things come from? Well, whatever. Get that. Just use a poor citizen, and there's Mr. Krabs. Sorry, but the carnival is closed. A pesky robot has taken over me ticket booth. And worse, me money. If you help me get rid of that no-good robot, I'll give you a big reward. All right, seems simple enough. Well, actually, Patrick can ground pound, so I can get rid of that spiral robot. Uh, eh! There's also spawning things. All right, get rid of him. Let me destroy you! All right, whatever. Let's get go. What's the best course of action here? Actually, what is the best course of action here? Falling down? It may, in fact, be falling down. Uh, maybe I need to be SpongeBob for this. I did see those fruits, so that would be somewhat indicative of Patrick. Actually, I can't even think of what SpongeBob could do in this situation. So I think we do need to be Patrick. Alright, jump over those guys. The only question is, what do I do with this? Oh wait, can I throw it at him? Yes! That is all I needed to do. Uh oh. That's not good. Well, there goes the Ferris wheel! Um. Okay, can I claim my reward from Mr. Krabs now? I got rid of the robot that took over his ticket booth. Do I get my reward? Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind. I hope my insurance covers all this. Why don't you try something less expensive? I mean, dangerous. 
I need them crazy robots cleared out of the bumper boats. When you've destroyed them all, come back and see me. All right, fair enough. To the bumper boats it is. And more of these stupid robots. Thankfully, I can get a lot of easy combos with Patrick with them. All right, whatever. Not exactly too hard to get to. There's something down there. Go ahead and wreck that, and let's get on the Ferris wheel. Whee! It's down here. Just that. Well, that hardly seemed worth it. There might be something here later. There does seem to be some other things. Is that a keep out sign? Or do not swim sign? I don't know. Maybe we need to freeze the lake again soon. Or the lagoon. <laughs> it's not a lake, it's a lagoon. All right, so let's go ahead, smash this robot. All right, and whack All right. Can I jump in here? Yes! Oh, crap. Okay, so I do need to just do this. I can't do the actual, like, ground pound thing. Did I get them all? No, I didn't. Hooray, I did it! And I got a sock! Hooray! How many socks does that make in this area? Nine! Okay, so we're only missing two socks. I haven't seen any that were... that I couldn't get to in this area. Let's see, it looks like a teacup ride. Okay. I'm not entirely... Ah! These teacups hurt. Okay, can I get up here? Yes, but that doesn't do me any good. I can also do this. Just completely wreck, ah! Wreck the flying robot. All right, activate that. Uh, there was a spatula that was right underneath here. I don't think I can get it at the moment. Gonna be so much easier if I had Sandy, but there's gonna be water, then chances are Sandy's not gonna be here. Because that would make it too easy. Ooh, hello. Ooh, ski ball. SpongeBob needs the bubble ball. Oh. Well, we can get SpongeBob, but we don't have that ability. So it looks like we're gonna have to come back to that one. Alright. Go over here. Let's get us some health. There's a game I can play with Patrick. Uh, that doesn't really do me any good. Um, well that could potentially do me some good. What exactly is this supposed to be? Like, curling? It might be curling. Whatever, whatever, ignore the robots, ignore the robots, ignore the robots, and throw- Oh crap, we're dead. We got something. Although, it respawned since we died, so I don't think it really helped. All right, whatever, let's try this again. With less fit, oh, actually that did count. Huh. Not gonna complain. Hey, this is mine. All right, so we're only missing one sock left in the entire area, so that is, we are making pretty good time on that. Oh, there's a freezy block. My question is, how exactly- Oh, crap! Damn it. The only question is, how am I going to reach that without getting myself killed? Also, why is that not- Whatever. Okay, so I need to get down to that area down there if I want to get a spatula. How many spatulas are we missing? Uh, four. Two of which we have no idea about. All right. There we go. Had to anticipate it a little bit. And, ooh. Oh, we barely have enough shiny objects for that. All right, so over here is a slide. Sweet. Where does this take us, anyway? Uh-oh. Not hit those. Ow. Oh, I didn't even realize. I thought that was a regular one in the center. Whoops. Uh-oh. All right, 
We're doing well, we're doing fine. Where is this taking us? To a bunch of shiny objects. Okay. Woo! Coral candy! Alright, so that's over to the bumper cars. But there was the clam over here that wanted like 2,200 shiny objects. What does this open up? Right, the underwear. Okay, we're gonna need SpongeBob, but. Where does that exactly take us? Ah, okay. Well, let's... Is there something nearby? Ah, oh, way back over there. And I activated the checkpoint, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay. In which case, let me go grab Spongebob. I thought I died right there. Well, that was unfortunate. <laughs> It does put us back there's Why do I always make things more complicated than they have any right to be? Whatever. We got back here. Go ahead and ride this up. That will probably bring us back down, so let's go ahead and ride the bungee. Whee! Oh well that was simple enough. It was essentially just Pay 2,200 shiny objects and you get a spatula. That really wasn't difficult in the slightest. Where exactly is this taking us? Is it just down? It's just down. Alright. I do wonder, is there any way... Is there any way to get down to, like, the bottom edge down here easily? Well, whatever. I'm just gonna press on ahead, switch back to Patrick, and then we can mess with the bumper cars. I mean, I feel like there is. That seems like it's pretty close. There's also one right underneath it, so maybe we will get access to the under portion here? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's grab this watermelon and throw it there. Oh, hey, stairs. All right. That worked, I guess. That guy also looked like he was invisible. All right. Do that. Bumper boat's cleared. What happens if I wreck the bumper boat? Uh, I get hurt if I touch the bumper boat. Good. Oh, hey, there's the way to the lighthouse. All right, let's activate the box. Uh. Oh, yeah, let's go talk to Mr. Krabs first. Because we didn't actually wreck his bumper boats. Here is Thanks, Mr. Krabs. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. All right, so that solves that problem. That does not, however, solve the problem of how do I get underneath this. Because the only way I saw how was through the, well, Ferris wheel. And there was no way to go from there. Ooh, is this an option, though? This is totally an option. Sweet. All right, let's see what we can do down here. Grab us this, throw it there. Almost drown, because this is drowning is really stupid in this game. Alright, get over here. I throw this. That doesn't actually accomplish me anything. Okay. Well, let's restart the time limit. Oh, well, that sort of worked. Alright, there's a bunch of tiki's over there that isn't really worth anything. There's the golden spatula that I saw earlier. There might be a sock over at the last lighthouse. That might be where my last sock is. But there was also land way over this way. Like way over there. And I'm probably not gonna reach it. All right, whatever. Just get over here. Yeah, because there's some land over there. All right. Well, this shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Oh, crap! Ugh. That did not work out. Game, you scare me sometimes. All right, so what is this? Keep off the sand. 
Oh, that's just the out of bounds area. Wow, that is not really clear until you are pretty much right out of bounds. Okay, well, whatever. Let's go ahead and grab this and get on over to the other area. Whee! Oh, I was half expecting Patrick to actually just fall in. But whatever. We have that over there. So now we gotta do is switch to SpongeBob. And then... Oh, that's not the right way. This is the right way. That did not look like it actually reached him. But whatever, that allows us the way... Ah, uh, we're still missing a sock. Oh, right, Kaski Ball! Unless, no, okay, so that is actually really good. We know exactly where the last sock is in this area. All we have to do is claim the last spatula way over here from Larry. Which, thankfully, that was really convenient. Congratulations, SpongeBob. You're king of the beach. Here, have a golden spatula. So there we go. We got all the spatulas. We're missing one sock. What it is, well, we know exactly where that sock is. So that is, oh, that's down town bikini bottom. I was really worried. It's like, wait, what? But no, we have exactly, we know exactly what we need to do to finish off this area. And it involves getting the bubble bowl move, which we still have yet to get. So, that very conveniently... Game, why are you still showing me that? So, with that taken care of, that finishes off Goo Lagoon. I do wonder, when exactly do I get that bubble bowl move? Do I just need to talk to the bubble buddy again? Also, I do need to talk to Patrick, but I'll get to that in a moment. Don't forget to- Nope, okay, so we still are going to need to come back to where the bubble bowl move. But we can at least turn in more of Patrick's socks. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong. Here's the golden back scratcher. Spatula. I don't speak Italian. So that brings our golden spatula count up to 30. Awesome. So with Goo Lagoon taken care of, for the most part, that will do it for this episode. So next time on Let's Play SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom. And we've already wrecked Squidward's day enough. That finishes off the last area around SpongeBob's neighborhood. So with all the spatulas we have in hand, we can head on into Bikini Bottom even more. You can already see the Shady Shoals home as well as Sandy's Tree Dome. But we'll be able to explore those areas next time. So until then everyone, take care.